What's up guys? Welcome back. I know a lot of you like to buy tickets using StubHub, so today I want to make you buy tickets on StubHub like a pro. Let's get into it. Most important thing is definitely to use the StubHub app. Reason I say that is because there are a lot of features on the app that are semi-integrated or mostly integrated into the web page, but getting to use all those features on the website isn't as easy or as intuitive as you may think. So definitely use the app to begin your search. So with that being said, let's dive into it and make you a StubHub ticket buying pro. So first off, when you're going into actually finding the different events you want, uh, what you can try and do is actually try and type out the actual team name or the event name in full. And then what you can do from there is once it actually lists up the different options, you can actually dive into a filter version of that specific team. So for example, if you're looking for the Ottawa Senators, you can go ahead and type in, you know, Ottawa or Senators, and you'll get a few different listing options right there. And if you scroll down, you'll see there's a whole bunch of different things, whatever has that tag of, you know, Ottawa. So for example, you can see there's all these different other types of Ottawa events. But what we're looking for specifically is Ottawa Senators. So what you can see right at the top, I actually have it favorited already. Uh, you can go ahead, click the Ottawa Senators link there. And what it'll do is it'll actually bring you to a filtered page with the home and away games. So one great way of being able to kind of filter through and you know, get to what you need is actually starting your search off right uh, to make sure that you are finding what it is you want and only the things you want. Now, when you're actually looking for the event that you want to buy for, this is where the fun really begins. So when you get to the ticket buying event page, you'll see default kind of search setting set up and they usually have it under best value. And a lot of times the filters that are set as best available doesn't actually mean the best available to you. It's just whatever the algorithm or StubHub has decided to be best available for the overall masses just because they decide it's the best doesn't mean you think it's the best and vice versa so what I like to do is I like to search either by price or by row uh, price if you just want to get into the building or you want to be a specific section and you don't really care about the row too much or if you want to actually get you know best seating in a specific area that's where you want to be searching by row this way we can exclude all the things we don't want to see and get right down to the nitty-gritty specific seats that we want to buy. Now, when you're searching by row, you also generally want to be in a specific section. So what you can do on the Snowhub app is actually start clicking individual sections to get the filters to only look in those specific areas. Now, clicking all these different sections can be a bit monotonous, you know, click, 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 or you know, however fast your thumbs are moving these days. Basically, you can do that that one way, or the other way is there's actually this little elliptical ellipsis is it the ellipsis the three dots click the little three dot button and what it'll do is it'll actually open up a little search bar for you where it's gonna let you search by zone or by section if you click the zone button what you'll see is it'll actually select everything within that same type of seating class zone so whether it's you know sidelines or end zones or you know end glass seats and what it's gonna do is basically just find everything that StubHub has already kind of filtered in that same type of seating area and it'll basically lump it together and that will be your new search now, if you're in a searching area and you want to start removing specific sections within it, you can actually go ahead and start tapping on those on the map and it'll actually then exclude them from your search. Great way to be able to find exactly what it is you're looking for. Now, when you actually opened up the specific event page, you saw that it had a few filter options right then and there. Um, but if you just go ahead and hit okay, and they'll just disappear. And now it's a matter of like, oh, how do I get back to only finding three seats at this price and this location and this and this and this, all these different kind of variables. What you can actually go in and do is actually go through the different filter options. Uh, and within there, we can get into a bit more specific. So whether it's a specific number of seats, a uh, certain price point you're looking at, um, or if it's even a specific type of ticket that you're looking for. Now, whether it's a mobile ticket or a hard stock ticket or something that's available instantly for download. Um, all these options are available to you and you can actually sort by them within the filter options right then and there. But if you're gonna be giving a gift for Christmas, sometimes it's nice to have those hard stock tickets, but unfortunately some events don't actually offer the different stock types. So for example, a lot of venues are now moving towards mobile ticketing and so a lot of times they're actually phasing out the hard stock traditional tickets. You can go ahead, try and do a filter search on it, but what you're gonna find is when you actually start doing that search, you're going to lose a lot of inventory so a lot of times you may be out of luck with trying to get specific hard stock tickets however doesn't mean you can't try it the filter is there you can go ahead turn it on turn it off very very simple now with these different filters there's one there that I think you should pay very close attention to and that is the parking pass included option a lot of times it's great when you're going to buy tickets and you see the parking price is already included into the ticket and you can get it all together great one low price blah 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 fantastic however however what you're gonna find though, is that a lot of times tickets don't actually have parking passes included with it. And so by turning on this filter, you're, yes, you'll see some options which are available to you which have the parking pass included already and it's been kind of built into that price, but what's gonna happen is you're actually gonna lose a lot of inventory that's available to you. The best way to work around this, twofold. 
First way is actually to go back and search for that event for a parking event specifically. So for example, with the auto centers, they do have specific parking pass options as a separate event item for the same days. So you can go ahead and look through there. But the other option, probably the more recommended option, is actually not using StubHub at all, going directly to the venue, seeing if they have it available online as a prepay option, or sometimes even the events will have parking available to you when you actually show up to the door. So go ahead, take a look and see, you know, play around with the filter, see what is available, what isn't. If there are listings available which have the parking pass included at a ticket price that you want, great, go ahead, buy those tickets. If they don't though, don't fret, don't feel that you're limited to only the parking pass included options available on the ticket page. Now, this next one is a great one for anyone who's trying to be lazy. If you have a specific ticket price in mind in a specific zone you're looking for in a certain quantity, what you can do is go ahead and set a ticket price alert. So if you take a look in the app, if you click on the top right, there's a little option there, click it, open it up. It'll open up a whole new set of options for you and what you'll see here is actually setting a ticket alert. What it'll do is it'll basically say, okay, put in your specific options that you're looking for, whether it's a specific seating zone, whether it's a specific price, and then you can go ahead and hit save. What's it gonna do? It's gonna send you an email or it'll send it through a notification through the app whenever the alert hits. What it's gonna do is it'll actually then take a look and take its time. Whenever the event has tickets available at your specific price alert that you've set, what it's gonna do, send you that alert. Uh, you can go ahead and then start browsing through the different options that are there. Uh, in the email, it'll actually list out a few of the different options that exist. Um, only thing with the alerts though, is that because the ticket inventory is dynamic and live, just because you get an alert does not always mean that same ticket will be available when you go into the app to actually buy it. Also, because alerts are not instantaneous, uh, there's obviously gonna be a delay. And then again, same thing, if the alert comes in, doesn't always mean the ticket's available, but it is a good way to see if ticket prices are moving in a certain direction. Now, the last tip and probably the best tip is to never buy the ticket through the app. Now, you may be thinking, this is so odd. I went through all these different phases for searching for tickets, filtering tickets, trying to find them in the app. Everything was there, but then I say stop. Why do I say stop? Because you're not maximizing the amount of money you could be saving. What do you mean? So, if you take a look at Rakuten or other cashback type portals, what you'll see is that they're able to give you additional cashback on top of your purchase. What does this mean? It means you could be saving additional money on actually buying these tickets. So, what do I recommend? I use Rakuten a lot. Uh, I find it's very intuitive and very easy. Just make sure you don't have any ad blockers turned on. Um, definitely go in, click through it. It's very simple. So if you take a look right now on their website, they have 2.5% cash back on all your purchases. What you can do is go ahead, buy through their affiliate link, direct you back to StubHub. You'll go ahead, log in, pay for the tickets just like you normally would. But now instead of paying, you know, $100 for those two tickets, you're also getting back an additional $2.50. A no brainer when you think about it, it's just free money that they're trying to give you. So like I said, always make sure you go through the cashback portal before buying tickets on StubHub. This way you'll be able to save additional money. Now, I have my affiliate link listed in the description below. If you go ahead and click there, you'll actually get an additional $5 for signing up when you make your first purchase. A lot of details are all there. You can go ahead and take a look, check it out. Um, if you're all about saving that free money, definitely go ahead and do it. So I think that kind of covers everything I want to talk about for using StubHub like a pro. If you have any questions on how to use different tips, just reach out in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do because you're going to miss out on a lot of great content I got coming out. I'm going to be doing an entire deep dive into the whole ticket buying process on how to actually go ahead and find tickets that you want, how to evaluate them, how to make sure you get the best value possible, and to make sure that you're always at the events that you want to be at. And I'll see you guys next time.